Aaron Zaif here and welcome to Mudrunner Overview. We don't necessarily have enough car games or just driving in general to tell if this release will be a good one because on the first glance it doesn't seem like it and the only real comparison is essentially Grid Legends which pretty much crashed and burned last year. <laughs> so Mudrunner is an off-road driving simulator game where step into the big boy vehicle to explore different environments with challenging weather conditions and go on adventure across vast landscapes. Straight from the bat, by watching the trailer or even reading the description, I have no idea what this game is really about. It does give off Euro Truck Simulator vibes with full on exploration and carrying out tasks related to driving around. The images aren't necessarily convincing with the footage quality so I don't expect anything high-end if it's with the surroundings or even the vehicle's cockpit. It's definitely something different from the platform and I wonder how big the areas will be presuming it's an open world scenario. The player is also seen going out on their own so it's gonna be interesting transition between that and jumping into the tracks. It's not necessarily something that caters to me but if done well then it will probably get an amazing feedback from the community. Some people just feel like driving around for no reason and chill inside the car when it's just a mayhem outside. Let's go on a road! Uncle Maxim called. I need your help, Dennis. He runs a towing business in Uger. A bad storm had just blown through the area, stranding many vehicles. He offered to pay and I needed the cash, so why not? He said he'd send me text messages with updates. <laughs> he better not send too many. But first, the old Zap needed a new tire. This is literally where I lived back in Poland. Like, are we going to the Eastern Europe now? <laughs> oh my god, this is very like... I'm having flashbacks. Why do I have teleport? Well, I mean, there's turn type and turn speed, but no locomotion whatsoever. A bit weird. Eh? So, in terms of the textures, Oh, there's like heavy foveated rendering going on. This looks good. Sharp and defined. Like it really is very weird for me because those type of architectures are very prevalent in my place. Well, I guess not anymore because I live in Paris, but it's my childhood. I mean, instantly why there is no smooth locomotion. I mean, I understand because... And there's some frame skipping. This is supposed to be a seated experience, but still an option could be nice. Things are kind of jittery. Some physics. Oh my god. I need to put it through my crotch. Am I shaking or something? And I feel like I have height adjusted properly, right? I mean, I'm gonna be driving for the most part, I assume, so whatever. Jesus. <laughs> the creaking. Well, I don't have a driving license. How the hell am I gonna drive this?
Where is my key? I mean, I don't know where people store their keys. It's like I need a proper tutorial how to drive. Start this machine. I feel like I need to adjust myself properly for this. It's so small. I'm not claustrophobic, but... Okay, so there's joystick movement. I mean, I have no feet tracking, which would be excellent for this type of experience. Oh my god, the terrain. I mean, this could be a nice practice for driving courses. Where is it? Around the corner. Do I need to change my gearbox? <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> that was reverse. Why only has three? I mean, this is a first for me in VR. Wait, can it start from free? So it's realistic. Who built this road? Oh my god. This will be quite the experience. Can't we take it with us just in case? Something's going off the height. I know it's deep in the mud, but... At least I feel comfortable inside. So now in reverse. Oh my god, it's not raining. <laughs> oh, thank you.
drive, baby. So he's on the right, and then one street more. Oh my god, even the street signs. It's so weird. Oof. It's basic stuff I know, but quite intense for me. You can tell this is my kind of real first time driving. That works. Oh my god. No wonder everybody left. No one wants to live in this hellhole. Yeah, so things could interact a bit more because you grab something, but then you need to kind of hold on to it. So it's a matter of polishing. Shouldn't you also turn off the engine? I mean, I was here, but... I'm an errand boy. What the? It's too realistic. I hope I did not break the light.
adventure. Jeez, what happened here? Okay, I saw. I mean, somehow I love this game. <laughs> Maybe because it's a new experience for me, so... It just seems very appropriate for my entertainment. And it's so fresh on the store. Can I have, like, a destination set? Stop moving! The turning is kind of intense, but oh, because I can turn with my joysticks as well. That's what was happening. I would like to turn enough, though. Because both at the same time don't make much sense. I mean, I'll try. It's going to be less immersive, but... Definitely way more comfortable. And not that accurate. <laughs> I mean, the textures could be a bit better, but considering it's an open world, it truly feels like it. And it's alive! The quality is very much justifiable. It's fine. Oh, the engine turned off. It's a tight passage, okay? Where the hell am I? Well, I need to stop here anyways. <laughs> Somehow, I really like this. Like, it brings... I feel like for the first time, the most realistic driving experience for Quest. There could be things more refined. With the locomotion, when you're going out of the car, full-on smooth would be appreciated. There's something going on with the heightened interactions, like, of course I'm standing, but then while sitting down, as the game is intended to be, I can't 
reach certain things without struggling and the interactions themselves could be more responsive in general. Textures for something that's like an open world scenario aren't half bad. You definitely feel like you're in a different place and the immersion definitely plays a big part in this game. So the world itself, considering the capabilities, pretty much well done. I'm inclined to play more of this, maybe a potential playthrough in the future. I did select the story mode, so this is like the beginning of the what's going on. There was a free to roam mode which is probably more sandboxing than this. However, the experience itself, very solid and considering we're not overflowing with titles in this specific genre, this sets a pretty good standard of what should come later after this.